Greetings, welcome back, realvacantland.com. My name's Luke Smith, and I'd love to share with you some data I've been working on. Calling this one fried chicken real estate. So in the land business, I'm always buying and selling land. In the last 10 years, I've bought and sold over 2,000 properties. And somewhere along the way, I started stumbling into some high traffic retail properties. And some of those properties went really well for me. Some of them didn't. And so I started studying the data of why some of them went so well and some of them didn't. And I've learned a lot. I've learned so much the last couple of years studying that data. And so today I'd like to share with you some data, some data insights and different ways of looking at properties. Um, this one, this fried chicken real estate, it, it incorporates a half dozen names. We got Chick-fil-A, Dave's Hot Chicken, KFC, Zaxby's, uh, Popeye's, um, Raisin Cane's, Crispy Crunchy. I even threw McDonald's in there, Golden Chick. Golden Chick's one of them too. So uh, half dozen or so different names of fried chicken restaurants. Now the idea here is if you had some land with you know McDonald's across the street or Burger King or those kinds of names, these fast food names up and down the street and either an old Ryan Steakhouse or something here that doesn't work anymore or vacant piece of land that you could build a new fast food restaurant on, how would you figure out who goes there? How do you get a hold of them? How do you tackle them? How do you make them, you know, go to that land and make it happen, right? That's an art of its own. So I'm not going to answer all that, but this is a hint and this is a clue and this is a piece of the pie. So let's jump into it. I've got this pulled up on um, um, Tableau.com. So I've got these different data sets. We've got different states and we've got it set to percentile rank. So one way to learn would be to look at the top, the top, top, right? So if I just do 0 0.9, 0 0.9 out of 1, 1 being 100, it, the top 10 percentile are going to be some of the best locations. And these are ranked by visitors. So by visitor count, and it's crunching. It's, you know, it's, this thing's not that fast. It's a website free action here. And so it's, it's tabulating. It's trying to find the top 10. So eventually it's going to spit out and it's going to like, you know, narrow down to the top 10% properties and maybe I got too many things on here maybe we'll, let's take off McDonald's because that's so many different locations and um, we'll just keep zoning in eventually it'll catch up with me right <laughs> here we go so it's starting to catch up maybe we'll take off KFC because there's a lot of KFCs too and uh, it's you know it's it's working faster as I drop some different names maybe we take off um, uh, Raisin Cane's and Zaxby's let's just look at uh, some of these other ones and so we're seeing where they're they're located. They're focusing on the south and and the southeast is where a lot more of their locations are happening. And um, you can play with this. So the top top ones, you know, a whole bunch of Florida and in the south and Texas and along the along the Pacific coast because we have Popeyes in there. I mean, Popeyes hits those. And so you can play with the names. You can add names, subtract names, and you can narrow it in on different states. You can add states, subtract states, and uh, like we got Hawaii on here, like it's making the map go wonky. So if we take off Hawaii, it'll zoom in on the on the country. And so we could look at that. We could look at the top ones. We could look at the bottom ones. We could study the bottom ones and see what's wrong with the bottom ones. Why are they bottom ones? Did they just start out and the statistics aren't really there and built yet? Or are they in the wrong side of town? Are is it the economics of the 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 people are making too much money? Or are they making too little money? Because oftentimes there's a band that's just perfect where where the economics work is there is the traffic going by too fast or is it going by not enough of it um the people can't see the location is the access to the location weird and you can start seeing as you look at hundreds and hundreds of these you can start seeing what's wrong with them and why why they're not working as well as the others and so i've been studying these things and i've been working on these and getting better at picking out ones that are better better locations vacant buildings we could reuse and try to pitch these other people to go and use or vacant land we could use to say you know chick-fil-a you go here and uh, reaching out to the right people to get a chick-fil-a to go there on that land and make it happen going forward because chick-fil-a on land is worth a lot more than just the land right <laughs> and so that's the idea and that's what i'm sharing here i'm sharing this this uh dashboard this tableau dashboard in the um description below feel free to go play with it throw comments and questions into this video um, I'll try to answer and maybe, you know, add edit and things along the way as I can, as I have time, I'll do this with lots, lots of different kinds of kinds of real estate for myself. I just thought I'd share this one with you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com checking out of
Fried Chicken Real Estate. See you in the next one. Bye.